Hello and welcome to English with Tom or English Pron, pronunciation with Tom. A super quick video today. It's about making corrections. So how to uh, go back and correct yourself if you make a mistake. Also, when you're listening to somebody speak, often you, they will make a mistake. So listening out for the key information. So when people are speaking, they often make mistakes or correct themselves, um, say the wrong thing, mix up their words. Uh, don't worry if you do it too. It's okay. It's natural. So it's totally natural to make a little mistake. Um, so this applies for things like speaking exams. Uh, you don't have to be 100% accurate for everything. It's okay to um, correct yourself. And actually, in some exams, like uh, IELTS, for example, um, being able to go back and to paraphrase and to correct yourself, that's seen as a good thing um, because it's a good skill. Also, in the listening test in IELTS, um, the speakers that you listen to often start saying something and then go back and then say, uh, the thing you need for the, the correct answer. So this is quite an important little skill. Let's see. So we have two lines here. Have a look. Which words do you think are stressed in the correction? So the first line has a mistake. <clears throat> the game kicks off at 3 p.m. Second line is the correction. Sorry, the game kicks off at 12 30. Which words do you think are stressed? If you've watched the stress video, you'll know that uh, key words, important words, they are stressed. What do you think? Let's see. Okay. Hey, ah, the game kicks off at 3 p.m. Sorry, the game kicks off at 12.30. So the, the sorry is stressed and the, the 1230, the correct information is stressed. Also, what people do to be extra clear is they also repeat the mistake. Oh, sorry, sorry. The game kicks off at 1230, not 3 p.m. Sorry, the game kicks off at 1230, not 3 p.m. So when you correct yourself, making corrections, you emphasize the correct words, 1230. Emphasize the, the mistake and stress the negative, not 3 p.m. And you can also uh, put a bit of emphasis on the apology. Oh, sorry. So this is quite common. This is very natural. Let's check out another example. Okay, just pause the video, maybe. Pause the video, have a look at this. Find the mistake. Which words do you think are stressed and emphasized? Okay, let's have a check. Blackburn lost 2-1 last night. Sorry, they lost 3-1, not 2-1. Blackburn lost 2-1 last night. Ah, sorry, they lost 3-1, not 2-1. So again, the apology, sorry, the correct information, 3-1. The negative and the mistake, not 2-1. All those are usually stressed when we make corrections, self-corrections. What do you think? What other phrases or words could you use instead of sorry? Anything else? If you had a good eye, you maybe you noticed on the first uh, slide at the beginning of the video. Here are some extra phrases or words you can use. What I meant to say is they lost 3-1. I mean, 
they lost 3-1. Oh, sorry, they lost 3-1. Did I say 2-1? They lost 3-1. Now, tut, T-U-T, you don't say tut, but it's the, the sound you make with by putting your tongue, touching the top of your mouth, and they lost 3-1. They lost 3-1. So all these are very natural, um, natural ways of correcting yourself. Okay, just a super quick video today. Um, like I said, this is important for obviously speaking, but also listening, because people all the time will correct themselves, make corrections. And in listening tests, specifically IELTS, in the listening task, um, the speakers often start speaking. Ah, oh, can I buy a ticket for October 13th? Sorry, uh, November um, 31st or something. So this is something that you will also hear in listening tasks and tests. OK, that's it. Please like the video, share with your friends and classmates. Leave a comment if uh, there's something you want to practice and See you next time. Thank you. Bye.